we are all living under a constant toxic heavy metal and chemical assault. Geoengineers have cut the rainfall in California with the continuous spraying of aerosols and use of ionosphere heating. The drought has already wreaked havoc with the state's agricultural sector. The result? California is heating up, losing most of its water and drowning in particulates. Its citizens will be at the mercy of the government to supply food they can no longer provide for themselves leaving the government in total control of the population. Mainstream media is doing everything it can to either spin the subject or completely omit it from any coverage at all. GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, are living organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering, or GE. In the US, GMOs are in as much as 80% of conventional processed food. The long-term impacts of GMOs are unknown, and once released into the environment, these organisms cannot be recalled. Diminished wind also contributes to reduced evaporation over oceans and thus increased drought on land masses. The precipitation that does fall is laden with toxic heavy metals like aluminum, magnesium, and others. Electronic systems, such as HARP, are used to lock certain weather patterns in place and bring rain to some, while others fry. The San Andreas Fault has reached a sufficient stress level for the next big one to occur. It would only take a nudge from HARP to send California into a major earthquake event. Combined with the heat wave locked into place over California, heating the ground and raising the thermal temperature, the big one surely is not far from happening. Exposing and stopping climate engineering must be our and your top priority.